Hello, and welcome once again to another episode of Articulate Thoughts. Today is Tuesday, November the 8th, and um, this past couple weeks has been very, very interesting on my part. Uh, definitely steps forward, but I would say I would have the best couple weeks I've had in months, so pretty excited about that. Um, so the past 24 hours have been particularly intense, and I've just been in a very deep mental state, and just want to share a couple thoughts with you and um so there's two thoughts there's like one thought about something regarding the presidential elections in the united states and this other thought of something a little bit more mundane (laughs) Uh, which is kind of um well not so much mundane to me but i guess on the surface but anyways (laughs) uh so i watched this movie uh dr strange which is the latest marvel comics production that was put out uh last friday and um so I, wa- I went to go see it yesterday, and it is absolutely incredible. I uh, was just sitting in the movie theater, just like being completely blown away by the visual effects in, in themselves. But there's also a lot of, in the story that is pretty deep and runs along the kind of stuff that I'm very much interested in. And a lot of the p- things in the movie resonate, resonate with me very strongly because I could relate to the situation. So um, the movie's called Doctor Strange, and... Uh, if you don't know anything about the the background of the character or whatnot, I'll just give you a quick breakdown of like the situation of the movie. So the movie starts off with this uh, doctor named Stephen Strange, and he's a very successful surgeon. He's quite perfect. He has all the money, and he has you know the best surgeon in the city in New York or wherever he's from. Yeah, New York, and um, you know he's just very big ego. He's in the center of attention to everything's all about him kind of situation and you know he's just living his life and then he gets into a car accident one night while he's just text um showing he's on his phone texting or something and then he you know gets distracted and he gets into a car accident and he just gets his hands all mangled and he can't use his hands f- to be a surgeon anymore and that was his entire life pretty much right so he's in a very desperate situation and he uh it's going around the world finding the best doctors to try and find a way to um, restore his hands. And then he comes across some people who have, you know, been paralyzed and been, you know, uh, like like been told by doctors that they'll never walk again or just in a, an impossible situation. And then they travel to this one particular, you know, in Tibet, you know, saw some ancient monk, monks who studied ancient traditions and have that kind of wisdom and was you know pe- people who were approached these monks and were taught certain techniques to use their mind to connect to their spirit to help heal their, heal their body and um so Stephen strange goes pursues and pursues these people and it kind of takes them down this deeper rabbit hole um so The movie goes on from there, and it's a very, very interesting movie. It's a very deep movie and very visually stunning movie, and I would highly, highly recommend it to anyone um, who's into stuff like um, The Matrix or Cloud Atlas or just any kind of stuff that expands your mind. I I would definitely feel like out of any of the Marvel movies, this one kind of pushes the edges of imagination, I would say. But um, in relation to like resonating with the movie, um, I definitely was in a particular time in my life where I was physically d- disabled and um, just was in a very bad mental and emotional place. I was bedridden with depression and just, um, you know, in a very, very bad place and went to doctors and they would diagnose this, this and that and give, try to give me medication and stuff and it wouldn't help. And I had to find a different way to heal myself. And um it very much was like a mind over matter type of situation, very similar to, uh, you know, what happened in the Doctor Strange movie. Uh, well, you know, it wasn't as like intense and didn't go as far as that, but like it definitely, you know, got in touch into something. The whole notion of using a mental state of mind to connect to spirit, to heal the body. I definitely w- have been through that sort of transition before. And, um, which kind of segues into like the, whole thing about the presidential elections so um in 2008 I was in a psychiatric ward I was in a very desperate situation I just felt like I needed to be there to just kind of um focus on myself and trying to get better 
try to reevaluate my life and how to figure this situation out because um, I was pretty desperate. My, my, you know, my friends and family tried to help me, but I was at a point where I needed to help myself and I, I realized that. So I was in the psychiatric ward and as I was there, the presidential elections was going on and I looked at the monitor and I saw Barack Obama get elected into into the office. And um, I remember thinking to myself, like, wow, like, like here I am in a psychiatric ward and then America's having its first black president. And it was just like a, this weird, like, acknowledgement of the sign of the times and just, like, how things are changing and things are, you know, the world is going in, in so many different directions. But here I am in the psychiatric ward. I'm just trying to figure out myself. I'm, like, trying to go deep into me and fix this. And uh, just a reflection of the back, like the past eight years, and it, it's very interesting because it, it just like like my relation to myself and the relation to the external world and the, the my external reality. It's it's very interesting because because like, before I I was just kind of, you know, just the effect of things. I was just going with the flow because I felt like I didn't have the power to really change anything. But now I'm in a very different place, and I, I get, and I understand, or at least have some understanding, of the power of thoughts and how they really shape my experience and my reality. And when I think about the past eight years, like, then you know, last week I I I put out in, in my in the last blog I put out, I was talking about how I, I moved to Calgary and I felt like, you know, I've kind of lost the momentum and I couldn't I wasn't developing as much as as maybe I could have. And that's, you know, that's just how I felt at the time. And and it's, you know, to some degree, it's, it, it's true. But per, perception is a very interesting thing in how it shapes reality and how you feel and um, greatly affects that perspective. And so when I was thinking about how much change in an eight-year span, I was like, wow, this is like astronomical, like difference, like you know, from that time in the eight years of when I first saw Barack Obama, like, that was a very rocky, shaky part of my life, and I was going back and forth, back and forth, and then maybe around 2010, 2011, I was gaining more stability, and from that point, it was every year after that was, like, better and better and better, and then when I think about this past year, like, it probably has been the best year of my life because I experienced so much new things, and um, when I was in the moment reflecting on it last week, you know, it didn't feel like as much because I had a certain idea of what I wanted to achieve when I moved out of my hometown in Mississauga. I'm like, hey, I haven't really achieved a whole lot of that. But, you know, that like, th that's where I'm going in the future. And just because I didn't achieve all that in one year doesn't mean like it wasn't grand progress. Um, but then this week, I'm taking this, you know, a further step back in an eight year span look at how much the world has changed and looking at how much I've changed. And it's just, you know, you know, on both ends, I would say it's, it's very, very drastic difference, very de drastic change. And, um, you know, I wonder if my life has changed this far, this much in eight years with all the experience and knowledge I've accumulated in the past eight years, how, what's going to change in the next eight years, in the, in the eight years to come ahead of me. And, you know, right now I just kind of feel like the sky's the limit. Like if I could go from a psychiatric ward, you know, to getting out of there, getting my dream job, moving 4,000 kilometers away to the other edge of the country, and then just starting life from scratch. And then now I'm in my first year of like be, being on my own and just slowly but surely, you know, <clears throat> building my foundations and really feeling confident that I could build a new life that I envisioned. And you know, what am I going to develop in the next eight years? I don't know, but it's going to be, like, pretty awesome. I, I feel, I can just feel it inside. Um, but, yeah, though that's my thoughts for uh, this week, and um, I hope it's been at least entertaining and hopefully maybe something you could take away from what I've talked about today. If anything, just, like, I would just highly recommend watching Doctor Strange. It's a really great, great movie, and it just will put some thoughts and imagination out there and <laughs> just um yeah check it out uh tell me what you think about the movie and like what, maybe what some of your favorite parts and whatnot or maybe how it in impacted you maybe some different things that resonate with you and um yeah hope to 
talk to some of you soon. <laughs> See ya.